can <laughs> hum. Yes, you can. I didn't sound like a hum. But not like you're supposed to. That's not humming. Go ahead, Ryan. Hum. Hum a song. You're not humming. I don't hear anything. That's not a hum. That's not humming. That's a, you're the, struggling for air underwater is what that is. Yeah, you sound like a ventriloquist <laughs> trying to do that. <laughs> they do their mouth. <laughs> How many people right now that we can't see just did that? <laughs> They're holding their noses trying to hum. <laughs> yes, you have to use yeah. your nose to make the sound to hum. And if you hold your nose, you're cutting off the sound source. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's there. my contribution today. Everyone to try that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I like your contribution better than what Eric's is going to be tomorrow. Because tomorrow, for Try It Tuesday, <laughs> we're doing something that directly is from something we did on Closure. I bet. Two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Closure we is where Steve. people come to us after they've been ghosted and they want to know why. And a lot of times we always ask them, what do you think it is? What's the last interaction you had with this person? Is there anything you did that you don't realize could have been a turnoff or offensive? Yep. And then usually we find out something like that. Well, Steve was quite the character. I we went on a date was... with this lady. And his accent, there were ladies like, I want to go out with Steve. He was no, so he, memorable. Why don't we just play a few clips of Steve real quick? It, just so people know him, because I'm going to get him on the show tomorrow. Oh, he's going to join us? To join so, us when we do this. Because, well, you'll hear it, because you have part of the audio. Of what yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we asked him why he needed closure, this is what he had to say. Well, there's this girl I met. Uh, we met online, and uh, absolutely beautiful. Her name is Carla. Her eyes are just, like, simmering. You can see it, like, through the ad. I mean, they reached into my heart. You know how that feeling sometimes come over you and you just go, this is going to be right? We try to get some dinner. She loves horses, and I have horses. So we talked about raising horses and riding and everything like that. She was English riding. All that cool because I'm a Western rider and everything. But like I, right after, I tested her, and I said, Carla, I had a wonderful night, and I would love to see you again. It would be an honor to me of my life if you would do that. <laughs> the my honor life. of his life. Of my life. <laughs> honor of his life. So when we got Carla on the line, we learned a little bit about Steve and, and something that he has. For God's sake, you used one of the crab claws to pick your teeth. At least I didn't bring out the, I have a raccoon penis bone that I used, but I didn't pull that one out in public. I mean, I say that. Wait, 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 back up. I'm what? sorry. So you're you being clever. What? A raccoon penis? Raccoon penis bone. Look it up. Raccoon penis bone toothpick. I thought about going into business and selling it, but you have to catch a lot of raccoons, and I didn't feel like breathing. They're <laughs> nasty. <laughs> they really are. Says, hold on, Steve. It says raccoon baculum bones. That's a long word. That'd be a good Scrabble word, but I don't know how to spell it. To be honest, all of his pictures, he had his mouth closed, and that's fine and all until I get there and realize he doesn't have any teeth. Well, he's got one. I, oh, Manure, I have teeth. That's ridiculous. Okay, snaggle tooth. You got no math skills. You can't even look at my mouth and count my teeth if you got no math skills. He was creepy and staring at my boobs all night. Well, you know what? You have got some beautiful hooters. I'll tell you that. I mean, as far as, far as wow. I can, like a nine and a half on a scale out of ten. And it was low cut. It looked like a hammock that was holding two beach balls. You are just How can you not expect me to just, just, at least I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you, do you want to hear how that wow. ended? Because wow. yeah, then he started taking shots. Such a shot. prince he was. He started Sam, taking shots at her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not here, here, a He's got teeth, though. He said he I've had seen, teeth. I've you saw photos. the picture? Yes, because I wanted to see. Well, this is how it ended. Maybe this is like a free advertisement for love for Steve. And if that is how it works out, then by golly, it was worth it. So thanks, Carla, for letting me look at your boobs and find another oh woman. <laughs> find another woman. So, oh so you have some inside information. Has he met anybody? Uh, I don't want to s spoil it. I will say, like Rilla said, uh, during the two weeks ago, we've, <laughs> we've had people text mm -hmm. and DM us. To yeah. uh, meet up with him about this Very picture. Which shows you that women are so much more forgiving than men. Yeah, they like, just like his charming accent. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's it. No. What is well, it? I guess what is it? What is he? What is playful it? Playful and he's fun. He doesn't take himself seriously. I guess I don't know. We'll so find out tomorrow. We're gonna try this. Tomorrow we're gonna try. I bought. The raccoon uh, toothpicks. Oh, no. Baculums. Stop. Baculum bones. Oh, no. And I bought some other toothpicks that no. are made like bamboo. And I'm going to have you guys oh, God. Uh, guess. Well, maybe 
Maybe we can like put our names in the hat and pull out names. And uh, oh, I don't. Want to do I it. hope it's only Ryan and Eric <laughs> in this. <laughs> That's pool what of all names. Ryan's name. In the- <laughs> I do not. <laughs> That's it. Sam's gonna be in charge in of mouth. writing the names, yes, and she'll exactly. only write Ryan and Eric seven <laughs> oh. times. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's paper in here. I don't know what you're talking about, no, no, Eric. No, 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 no. Baculum bones. <laughs> yeah. He's right. That is a good Scrabble word, but he doesn't know how to spell it. Baculum. Have to look that up. <laughs> That'd be a good spell Scrabble it, Kat. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the things that people have shown us here mm-hmm. over the years on the Rulin Ryan good. show, I just never thought was a real thing. And man, he like she's like he said, she just spoke to his heart, you know, through the Tinder profile, and just he had to show. He's her not the bad baculum. looking. I, I think maybe he, his teeth aren't as great. Like like when you don't smile, there's mm-hmm. a reason. If you see people not smiling, that's somebody that's not. Secure with their teeth, I guess. Yeah. Well, and also that's we've said this were, many I mean, his times. Were, Dental work is very expensive. Yeah. A lot of people can't afford expensive. it. They don't have the insurance for it, and they, it, it's a very big source of insecurity for them. You know, you have like that shaded smile. I mean, yeah. trust me, you're missing your front teeth. I mean, that's going to seriously change the way you look. But you can get like those like hockey players. Most of them are get veneers. Like I know you're not veneers a, are so expensive. Yeah, yeah they Once are. Again, you they go get back the kind to the kind of go in and out. You can like dentures. Like those two front teeth, you can push them out. Oh, like really? Like Wait, what push, now? What? Like the fake teeth, they're, they're not veneers. Okay. Because I don't they're think like, hockey, for hockey players. Dentures. Is it dentures? From like a, a prank I store? <laughs> no, I don't think they, cause they, I always see them, and also they just pull those things out. and they. It's yeah. like a removable bridge. Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I think veneers are too expensive, like Sam said, and then they know they're going to get knocked out again. Right, when they start so might as well just take it out. Shocker, Sam, when I was single and I was living in Philly doing radio, you know, the Philly Flyers are the big hockey team for uh-huh, Philadelphia. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And mm-hmm. one of my friends is like, oh, you should, I'm going to set you up with one of the hockey players. And I was like, oh, yeah, if, as long as you don't mind, they don't have teeth. I go, are you serious they don't have teeth? She goes, no, most of them have fake teeth. Yeah. Oh, I go, wow. are you serious? This she goes, a- oh, yeah, most of the team has fake teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm, wow. They go, yeah, I can pull them out whenever they want. And I was like, are you crazy? She goes, have you never watched hockey? I go, no, I'm from yeah. Texas and I didn't care. They don't wear mouth guards. <laughs> a lot of them don't wear face shields. Like, yeah. it's in- Ooh, wow. it's intense. Who's tougher, do you think? Uh, MMA fighter or, or a hockey player? Oh. MMA, oh, like, MMA. Like, you like, if you see a, a guy at a bar, do you see that ear that's a cauliflower? The cauliflower ear, he's been hit a lot. I'm thinking the MMA. I mean, I figure with the hockey player, they've got a weapon in their hands. MMA. Their they fists are, are their weapon. Yeah, they are the weapon. And their they feet. are the yeah. weapon. And what, what do you mean by cauliflower ear? I know you've been saying that a lot, gets, but I've never the, asked you guys why. The cartilage gets all word. busted up in the ear, and the mm-hmm. ear puffs Ugh. out, and it looks like cauliflower. you never yeah. seen that before? Rest, most I don't think I have, and I don't want to Google ears. it, because I'm scared to see what's going to come up and keep coming up it's on just, my iPad. It's when your <laughs> cartilage is just like very... Uh, Puffy. I mean, they've been like, I've seen like bulbous noses of alcoholics that look real, like you know, bulbousy and and po- right. like lots of pores. Oh like no, a sponge. this is completely different. No, oh no, that it doesn't have it doesn't look spongy. There's no, no way they could do like plastic surgery on the on the, on the cauliflower. On the, yeah. I'm sure they could, but I if, thought they go back. Or is that a badge of honor? I don't think they go back. Yet. No, 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 not without help. Damage. They're not going to get surgery because if they're still fighting, it's just going to keep getting broken over and over and again. Do most guys care? I would care if I look like that. Well, then you probably wouldn't do the sport, though, I mean, because you know your face. But you know is you're a badass. I mean, these guys look like the Mickey Mouse ears. They're sticking out really far. But they're like, I'm a badass in, Kev in, likes the, that, in that so. world. Oh, yeah, Kevin's a sucker for that. You like big ears? <laughs> if you're a uh, Latino boy with no, they, cauliflower they, ears, oh, dear. No, oh, no, no. like, they, they, <laughs> they stick out. Like, they, they oh, no, kind of no, no, like no, no. Some people oh, get them, no, like, no, taking back. Oh, you handles. Look up... Are you looking just at? type in New York Yankees, the Martian. Oh, Is there a rookie? He just got injured, but he, he hit like two home runs against us a couple weeks ago. He's got big ears. Your His ears are not like, big. It's the no, they poke out. They poke yeah, out. Is, they, is it Dominguez or something? I think. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. What's <laughs> that's, the name? That's, that's, that's the. What's the name? Um, is it Jason? J- yeah, it's Jason. Jason Dominguez. Dominguez. Oh, yeah, that's Kev right yep. there. That's his. Just name. look at him up right now. That's Kev's kryptonite. That's my weakness. That's You're special case, the newlyweds screensaver now, not his newlywed <laughs> spouse. It's <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Stop <laughs> moaning and moaning on the air, Kevin. It's disturbing. Moving on. <laughs> Try and grow to moan with your holding your nose, like humming. Oh yeah, can you moan? Yeah, do with hum your, with fix yeah. your nose. Can you try and uh, try and moan holding your nose, Kev? Yeah. Here you go. 
No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you just farted. That's what we learned today. It is silent. He held his nose and it tooted. Silent. Yeah. 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 Blowing a bubble out of his butt. I'm glad you're sitting right here. Oh, 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 where did this go? <laughs> I'm just saying, you just tooted. Wow. You held your nose thinking you're going to try and uh, moan there, and you just hey, tooted. They, they call me bubble butts. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's got to change his underwear now. <laughs> oh, oh, why, why, why the next step? Why the next step? Okay. Okay, coming up next, how did you catch your cheater? A lot of people come to us for Rulin' Ryan's Roses because they are suspicious of their mate. But in this segment, you already know it happened, and you're going to tell us how you busted that person. Or perhaps you were the cheater who got busted because of some misstep. Did technology call you out or something else? You tell us. 713-390-KRBE is our phone number. It's how did you catch your cheater and on the Rulin' Ryan Show. Yes. Kevin voted for Obama because of his ears. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> you're a sucker for those ears, aren't you? I'm, I'm a sucker for corn, t- corn rose, and camel to it. What's the song? What? Country Grammar camel by Nelly. <laughs> what? I'm a sucker for corn rose, and I'm a, what's the lyric? Not camel toes. Kevin's name there, too. Camel toes. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just Moving gonna, on, yeah. as he looks up Nelly's lyrics for country grammar, <laughs> here are some important messages from our sponsors on the Rule and Riot Show. Come on. Give me a minute. <laughs> 4.1 KRBE. It's the Rule and Ryan Show. It's time for How'd You Catch Your Cheater? 713 390 KRBE. We need a theme for that, Kev. That's a new, that's a new song. We have How one, you but you hate cheater? it. Uh, well, yeah. all it is is oh, the yeah, guy yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, now is time for How'd You Catch oh, Your Cheater. We do. I'm you so sorry. You busted them on your own, oh, and he right. got the bone. Find oh, yeah, yeah, a phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nibble on a bone. Yeah. This is so lame. I didn't like it. Fly a drone. I didn't write that one. Yeah. Well, let's go to the phone. Do you want it? Uh, yeah, no, play it, play it, play it, play it. It's fine. You gotta play it. Do you so, want to play it? Because we gotta hear how bad it is. Okay. Oh you know, lordy. You All right, let's hear it. Them on your own, so pick up your phone. How do you catch a cheater on the Rula and Ryan Show? One hundred four point one K R B E. There's no soul. Wow. To no, There's no. no soul someone to wanted it. to cram in the roses uh, song. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You told me to put the roses on. I did. 713-390-KRVE is our phone number. Why the f*** you lying? Why you always lying? (laughs) (laughs) That's a better one, actually, Kev. I like that more. Okay. Uh, Sarah is standing by at 713-390-KRVE. And we always learn something new about how people cheat on this segment. And wow. I did not see this coming. Sarah, okay, let's hear it. how'd you catch your cheater? Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hi. Uh, Hi. So it was actually with my neighbor, and it was my fiance. And Uh-oh. I felt like something was going on. Okay. And while he was asleep, I went through his phone, didn't find any messages, which I thought was a little suspicious. Hmm. But cheaters, they will always mention a person, the person and they'll say something that they're doing, like if they're playing a game or if something happened at work, they'll mention them. So he kept mentioning words with friends. So I hacked into his words with friends account. And sure enough, that's where I found, you know, that the he was chat. trying to like, yeah, to go over and like sleep with her and all this oh. other stuff. Wait, you could do that Basically on online Scrabble. Oh. Online Scrabble yes. is how they got busted. Mm. Now, can I ask now, you, how far away were you from your actual wedding date? You said that was your fiance. Uh, so we hadn't planned a wedding date because I wanted to wait till I graduated from school. Mm. Um, so there was no set date, but he did get, keep or keep pushing to get married. Uh, but I was like, let me just wait till I graduate. Um, so there was no set date. Isn't that time. odd that he was the one that was pushing, let's speed up and get married all the while he's cheating. What was the feeling you had when you, I just couldn't imagine reading a text from the man, person I love a, the most, I'd feel so sick to my stomach. Oh, I, I definitely did as well. But it's just a gut feeling. Like, girls just know. And you when, know, I don't know. When what were was his slipping? reaction? Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, when, ahead, when, were, when, when were they doing this? Like, does he have a regular job? He was sneaking over there when you were at work? Oh, no. Yeah, so he worked a re- regular job. I was a stay-at-home mom, and I was going to school full-time. Um but they oh would, like, gosh. hang out at night on the porch, which I didn't have an issue with. I mean, that's not suspicious. They've been friends since they were kids, you know? Mm. And then that's when I found that out. And I'm like, uh, because I've never 
got that feeling until around that time period. And that's, I was like, I'm just going to go through the phone and I'm just going to see. And sure enough. So what I was his reaction or how did you hit him with it? Did you wake up and say, wake up, idiot. Your words with friends dinger just went <laughs> off. Like, what did you say to like confront him that you busted the words with friends chat? Uh, so he had left for work. And that's whenever I logged into the account. And then sure enough, on his way to work, I called him and I went off. And he tried to meet me up. So we met up and he tried to turn it around on me like he shouldn't be going through my phone. I'm like, no, 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 we're not going to do this. (laughs) Yeah. Got it. So he is the father of your children, correct? Yes. We have a child together. Okay. Oh, that sucks. How long ago did this happen to you, Sarah? (gasps) was about five years ago okay oh wow and are you still you with doing... him yeah yeah sorry that's okay how are yeah so <laughs> we ended working things out um i mean that was like the first time he ever like something really happened uh so yeah we did end up working things out but i mean i'm always on edge you know like if something happens like... you forgave but you will not forget Yes. I did not sure. expect you to tell us that you are still with him. No. About the way you were presenting yeah. the story. Did not you, everyone is. Things. Did you stop him from doing like words with friends, Wordle? You know what I mean? Like oh, games? Yeah. I told him, I was like, hey, we have to move. Like, this is your neighbor. Like, no communication. If you really want to make this work, you're going to have to block her. Like, I don't want you guys anything moved? to do with her. I'm sorry? Did you move? Oh, yes. We ended up moving. Um, and. They ended up moving as well, like later down the road. But it was just really weird. Oh, you said they? She had a husband? Uh, no, she was living with her mom at the time. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, so five years ago, your fiance cheats on you through words with friends with the neighbor who mm. was his very good so friend. So basically, they were kids. You said that you were on a porch swing too. So like you're walking by cooking, and you see them on the porch just swinging back and forth. You don't know where their hands are. You don't know uh, any of that stuff. Don't make it worse. You know, she already lived through this, I mean, yeah, and she's yeah, moved yeah, yeah, past it. But you're it. walking past that stuff. That Good would, for you, Sarah, that you and your man could person. move I, past this, and you're happy. You. That's all that matters. I agree. If it works in your situation, yeah. wonderful. You moved. Me, I would have burned her house down. <laughs> and- <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's in jail for arson Actually, because for a there was no. a question <laughs> of, of, a, of a Wordle situation. That's all. Let's talk about that because, wow. Sam, you, you told us Thanks, once Sarah. that you burned someone's Come stuff. On. You, you can't say anything off air that doesn't come on air. Well, we're not well if you're in the room, yeah. well, you don't you know the say, rules? You have Hold to on, say the rule and Ryan show rules is if you're in the studio and you say it out loud, <laughs> off the yeah. unless you say right. this cannot ever be brought up, I think you I did share this are at story risk for already. That. I don't like, remember this. When I first this. came on to so the show with you whose stuff did you burn? And it why? was Okay, so I have been with my um, husband now for mm-hmm. 11 years. Wow. I know. And so this was a guy that I dated before him. I think we were together maybe two years, and this was in um, college. That's a long time. Okay. Yes. And so I was with him for probably two years. And No, I'm sorry. Whatever. Maybe a year. It doesn't really matter. We really liked each other. Uh, you know how college relationships are. You're always kind of like, is this going to be the one? You know, because you're in college <laughs> now. And so I was a communication major, and there was a girl in my class that was kept talking about how she kept hooking up with this guy that had a girlfriend blah 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 and i'm like trying to understand she's like starting to name drop people that my boyfriend at the time were friends with Uh oh and so i'm like okay like what's going on you know your heart is like starting to like pump and you're like what is going on like there's no way this is the guy that i'm dating and so i go up to her and i and you know me i never confront anybody like normally i would have just like walked away and i would have been like oh it didn't happen but you had had 15 craft beers and you felt real (laughs) strong this was in class this was in class (laughs) class. but for some reason she just irked me so Uh much that i was just like who are you talking about like what guy are you talking and about she doesn't know what you look like she didn't know no that. she knew she oh, knew so it she was knew. my boyfriend oh. this was like so she, she intentionally just, yes. was she was asking for it is what you were saying then she was asking for it and so she said his name and i was like what i was like you know we're together everybody like on campus knows that we're together it's, uh-huh. it was a small university and she couldn't say anything she's like oh i thought you guys were like taking a break blah, blah, blah. so Thought y'all were taking a break. I left class. But wait, she thought you're taking a break, but yet she was bragging about <laughs> yes. sleeping with the this- uh-huh. exactly. There's so many things oh that happen. So you leave class and so I burned leave out her class, car? And I take <laughs> all of the guys' stuff that I was dating. 
Uh-huh. And I had a house with a bunch of girls. Uh-huh. And us girls open up a couple of beers, crack them open, put all of his stuff in the yard, sent him a picture, said wow. any last words, and bam, they all went up in flames. And oh. it was awesome. Like, nice. what kind of stuff did you burn? Oh all of his clothes. clothes. I think he had electronics <laughs> over. It was Wait, the best you see? feeling ever. You burned up like a video game system? I'm sure there was video games. I'm sure there was homework. I'm sure there was books. Ooh. There was his clothing. There there was stuff that he bought me. I was like, I don't want you. And what was his did reaction? Did he show up and I for it? Or what it. was his reaction? Did he actually show up to your he, place? Like, how could you do this, yes, Sam? He showed up with flowers and was oh. crying and was like, I made such a terrible mistake, blah, blah. And I was like, no, your stuff's all burned. Well, how did he and react? Then Sam to said, burned. I can buy myself flowers. When he found yeah. out all this stuff was burned, how did he react to that? I don't know. I didn't care. So you never saw him again? That was like the last time you saw him? I was done him? with him. him. I was done with him. Well, that's good. Did then she knew that she was not right for her. No, did I did cut not. cut him off clean. I did not. But I did miss his pet because he had a cool pet. Aww. He had a ch- uh, oh. chinchilla. Oh. It was really cool. Wow. Those are wow. Very and he used to wear Uggs. Hear. And we wore Uggs together on campus. We were like total losers. Had- I should have burned <laughs> his Uggs too. You had a boyfriend that wore Uggs? Uggs? Yes. Like we were weird. We are weird. Wait a second. Thank wait God a second. for my new wait. man. He was wearing like the girly Uggs. He's have wearing the, technically the Uggs, Uggs like are made boots? for Uggs are made for men because they're for surfers. When they go out, you know, and they surf and it's freezing, they have their wetsuits, and so Uggs are made for that. So Uggs oh, are actually no for men, but because they're so cute and fuzzy, Why am I women so much them today? over. I'm yeah, learning I know. you can't hum oh. with holding your nose. Can't you, hum. Yeah. So now I'm learning Sam, this. If Sam's Uggs are made for surfers. If someone I no cheats idea. on you, burn their stuff, and you will feel so great. <laughs> Makes me so mad. I want to burn uh, this place down. As long burn? as you don't start a wildfire. How did you burn it? Like, did you put gasoline on it? No, I don't know what I was doing. Lighter fluid? I just kept trying to light things with a lighter. I was like, I'm going to get you. What? I'm going to get you. <laughs> Flammable pajamas. I'm gonna get you. you know, you have that yellow like tag was, on you got to rip off. Yeah, I was stupid. You're but just he, never, like, you he never messaged you back like, I'm so angry at you for burning my stuff. No, he's, of that's course he you. did. Okay. Someone I mean, said this is your origin him. story when you became a villain, Sam. Oh, yeah. This is what made you become... Every college story ever. See, other people relate to this. Oh, yeah. You burn their stuff, and oh, it makes I've you feel burned, better. I've I don't know, though, if you could get stuff. arrested for that, so I do not recommend it, but I had a great time. It do not good. recommend. It felt really good. It felt really, really good. Have you seen uh, wow. Waiting to Exhale? Oh, no. Oh, what's yeah. that? Oh, yeah, that's good. That. Is that, that what, a movie? Yes. Angela Bassett. Did she burn um, things? Is Whitney, is Whitney Houston, Houston oh, yeah. that? Yes. Is that where she puts it in his sob with the yes. sunroof open? Yes. Yeah. Puts all the stuff in the car, yep. in the driveway, and just lights it up and walks away. Well, I didn't <laughs> light his car on fire. Death. I should have, though. Because oh, his wow. car... You might be in jail if yeah, you have. Yeah, right? I think his stuff was okay. Like, oh, gosh. Am I going to get... I can't oh, you were doing cement yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get a, come up behind a cement truck and swing over the little gutter and just dump it into his in the vehicle. sunroof yeah. in the top. I feel like this is like a country song. Once again, uh, uh, what, about what, she did, what she did was okay. I mean, she just truck. burning a few clothes in your backyard. That's one thing. Yeah, we uh, had a bonfire. Destroying somebody's vehicle. That's probably going to send you to jail. Right. Yeah. Well, well, listen to this texter at 37530, Uh-oh. all in caps. Mm-hmm. Every college story ever. That's what I'm saying. Crying, laughing, emoji faces. I don't know anybody in my personal life that in college burned down the cheaters' things. But I've seen it in movies and TV shows, and <laughs> now we know Sam. Got, now you have officially met someone that has burned their yeah, we never, I, yeah, I've always seen it in movies. I've never seen yeah, it. I'm telling you, it's so it. much fun. Go and I've never it. seen a surfer with Uggs. i got to look this up now. They're not on the surfboard. It's when they get out of water. Someone texts that too. Yes. Right. I don't know. Google it. Google it. Google. Google it. Was he a straight guy? What? what? The guy I was dating? <laughs> yeah, wearing Uggs. I'm, yes. She's giving I'm, us the origin of Uggs. It's yes. for surfers post surfing to keep Thank their you. feet warm. But he was a Has cool dude. Has nothing to do with their he, orientation. Like I said, okay. we had matching Uggs and it was cool. Do you have any Uggs, Kev? No. No, he doesn't even like Crocs. But he yeah. has an Uggs jacket. Oh, yes, yeah, we I do bought have my Uggs friend. jacket here in the studio. Oh, it is Uggs are ugly. cool. My little brother has Uggs. Uggs. Yeah, Uggs stands for Mark ugly. Mark has Ugg boots, too. Dang it, I did no. get Mark into Uggs. No, uh, Sam, didn't. by the way, you no. have sent our listeners. Guys, Sam what? has sent Uh-oh. our listeners down the rabbit hole so of sorry. Googling to see if surfers truly wear yeah, it Uggs it post-surfing. True? Because one person wrote, I don't think surfers wear Uggs. Or, yeah, I got to um, look. But so I don't know. I'm going to trust you, Sam, on that one. And one person said, you know, Sam, I loved you already. 
But I love you so much more now for oh, your crazy. I'm so glad. I thought they were going to hate me. <laughs> what do you think me. that guy's doing now? Do you ever, do you know? Here you go, Eric. Let's start my, for some nugs. Thank you. I think my mom may follow him on Facebook. And you know Mama G's always listening. Because mm-hmm. um, she goes, set his clothes on fire. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Wonder who you're talking about. Ha, ha, ha. That's what I thought. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, Mama G oh, man. is uh, thriving right now with my conversation. I don't know if this guy's married. What he's, I know, think he is married. In the... He's God, young I, and stupid. I can't. I can't. And another I person know. is quoting like, as Sam uh, in college is the Isla Fisher character from Wedding Crashers. Like, you can't break up because oh, yeah. I find I you. Find <laughs> you. Yep. That is my favorite scene, and it's obvious reason. I find I you. Find you. <laughs> I, like, I like, though, that you didn't take action against her. You went after him because he's the he's you know, the one he's that did you. it. I mean, he was in a committed relationship. You should know better. But you was should I mad, also at, be her mad at her? And she is dead mad. to me? Absolutely. But you know how people like go, Roses. I unfollowed her on socials and I was didn't talk to her in class. Yeah. And uh, you know, but so, his stuff was burned. Yeah. But, okay, okay yeah. for those just tuning in, Sam burned uh-huh. down a lot of things. Don't cheat on Sam <laughs> and be scared. That's all. Whoa. Thanks for how'd you catch your cheater, Sam? I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, we're all scared now. Like, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Don't take her off. Mark, guys. if you're listening. I know where you live. <laughs> See, now if something bad happens, her. we can't write that letter to the judge like Ashton and his wife did. <laughs> Ashton and Mila. Because Sam can't be a character has done reference it. for you, Sam. Mm-hmm. Well, Sam's yeah. a little cuckoo, I guess. But no. Aren't we all? Hell Look, yeah. We all have that up. one thing. That gets you. Yeah, what is that one thing? Eric, you want to share? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Yours, <laughs> is on, yours is on the raw feed. Mine is just like, yeah, you yours know. On, yeah. yeah, raw feed just reaches like a couple hundred thousand ever. people. This just reaches millions. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> next, speaking of Waiting to Exhale, movies that maybe you've never heard of, they're a classic epic. They're, waiting to Exhale is not a teen movie, but Entertainment Weekly put together the list of the best teen movies of all time. Hmm. And I have a problem with the ones they didn't put in the top ten. Ooh, I have a problem with that. We're going right. to go over it next on the Rule and Ryan Show. Movies, music, TV, and all things Hollywood. Rula and Ryan Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. It's brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston. Before I start this out, let me get you hooked up with Peppa Pig, the most famous pig of all. Peppa Pig, the sing-along party. Parents, you know you need this for your children. Smart Financial Center is the place. October the 7th is the date. It's a four-pack of tickets to see Peppa Pig with the sing-along party. 713-390-KRVE is our phone number. If you're caller 12, you're on your way with your fam jam to jam out to Peppa Pig. Bum, bada, bum, bum, bada, bada, bum, you, bum. That, that show made my uh, my nephew have a British accent for a while. He started getting one. <laughs> That's funny. <Aww. laughs> from, my kids love Peppa Bluey, Pig. but they never picked up any accent from Bluey or Peppa. Is Bluey Australian or is that English? Australian, I believe. I've never seen that. I just know or New is. Zealand. You know, New Zealand and Australia, oh, yeah. they get real. New, New Zealand gets Who a gave real us the chip wiggles? on their was soldier that... about getting them confused. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Wh- New Zealand, not Australian. I'm like, oh, sorry. Wait, the wiggles were alive. Australian, right? They're back. They're in, I think they were in New York last week. I think they're doing a tour. The wiggles? Yeah, they kept one original guy, I think, and then there's like a whole new group. Because they got to be really girls, old Girls, there's women in it. Oh, okay. It's hmm. my, more diverse, too. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Hot potato, hot potato. Oh, God. Stuff's still stuck in my head after all these Thank years. God, I don't know that. Yeah. You know, the things that I, I, I know, nobody else knows because it's like so far from some, some so cable flocky, so didn't flocky. have. No, it was, it was, um, it's called Baby's First TV. And it was on DirecTV. And then I think Comcast jumped on board, but I'm not sure. Is that like and Einstein all videos? These shows, like, no, it was like vocabulary. Oh, Baby Einstein? He was a parrot. His name is Larry, but his name is Vocabulary hey, Larry oh. and the Color Crew, the Crayons. Really, you got to share with everybody because when I came and visited you, you showed uh-huh. me uh, there's a, st- a station that had 24 hours of Three's Company. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. This is so crazy. Okay, so on pl- on my one laptop that does nothing because it's so old, it still has a CD-ROM on it. I can't get mm-hmm. anything except Pluto TV. Pluto TV is a free site on the Mac, and there's an app, I guess, for your phone. It's totally free. You don't even have to put your email in it to sign up for it. You can watch it on Comcast it. or on Xfinity. I watch, I watch Pluto TV on that. Pluto TV has a channel yeah. for every Gen X and person before yeah. that. Like, all the channels. Like, if you liked Family Ties back in the day, it's the 24-hour Family Ties channel. Did you like the Love Boat with the original people? 
It's the 24-hour Love Boat channel. There's a 24-hour Threes Company channel. It's all 24-hour channels of 80s sitcoms. Oh. Just looped, looped, looped. Even 60s sitcoms I didn't watch. When I was um, a big fan of Friends, you know Rachel's mother is um, Marlo Thomas. Oh, In that girl. In the 60s, she had a show called That Girl. When I was flipping through Pluto, there's even a That Girl channel. So how many channels? I'm like, are... I even know that, that show. So there's like 50 channels and each one is... More than that, I feel like. There's hundreds of channels on Pluto. It's just... Whatever you feel like watching, they Good have like Lord. Well, Kevin, look, yes, they have yeah. like there you 70s go, movies. <laughs> They've got you know Matlock. Well, they got Golden works. Girls. Kev, so Pluto TV <laughs> has Kevin's a 24 Friday hour night. channel for every TV show. He's playing Mexican uh, Mexican training and watching Matlock. It also says uh, movies. Are Star Treks are all on here. All yes, the next generations yes. are on here. Every single show, free. it's all free. Uh. You don't have to sign up with your email. That's the best part. So that's so that, yeah, that's what that. I was watching. So if you want to go to like nostalgic movie watching, there are a lot of different shows. There are some go tos that you can just watch them in the background. Like Back to the Future is always doing a trilogy on some channel. Some channel is constantly playing Back to the Future the trilogy. It depends on which one you're hitting. I think the most popular are the first and third, not so much the second. Hey, real but, quick, Rula. Mm -hmm. Eric blew my mind. He said, Google Ken Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker's brother, and I just, my jaw dropped. I'm like, wait, that can't be him, is it? Wait, he's from those Whitaker? movies. I mean, they look identical, and they're not wait, even who's twins. who's Ken Whitaker? Apparently, Forrest Whitaker's got a brother who I mean, looks I identical to I mean, I know that, but what him. movie would I know him from? I know I, Forrest Whitaker. He was, in, a, he was in some movies. I forget what, what they were, but if you look at that, you're like, holy cow, they look like twins. They, they look identical. Like, they have to be twins, but they're not twins, right? I, I don't know. Yeah, he never used them as a stunt double for, like, Best Times of Richmond High or something. Yeah. I have no idea. So Fast Times at Richmond High is on the list of Entertainment Weekly's best teen movies of all time. That's it is in the top 10. 10. Um, and Fast Times at Richmond High is one of those movies that has a lot of blockbuster actors who became something. You know, they weren't at the time, but they became something. You had there are a Eric lot of well Stoltz, names. Sean, uh, Sean Penn. You had Nick Oscar Cage. Winner. You had um, Oscar winner. I think, uh, Forrest Whitaker. Oscar Forrest winner. Forrest Whitaker, yeah. yeah. You had Phoebe Cates. You had Jennifer Jason Lee. You had Judd, uh, Judd, Judge Reinhold from mm -hmm. Beverly Hills Cop and uh, Santa Claus movies, the Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. A lot of big names from that one cast. Okay, so they're in the top. Fine. Back to the Future. I mentioned them from 1985. That's top teen movie. The original is... Listed as the best teen movie. But Mean Girls is not in the top 10. <gasps> uh, what? High School Musical is not even in the top 20. That's not a movie, though, right? Yeah, is it a TV that's, movie? No, it's a, a movie. Oh, it's a, a movie. A, a no, there was movie. a series, though. But it had a movie. Like, it's you, a movie. You, High School Musical is a movie. Oh, I yeah. Thought, I, I thought yeah. you just watched it on Disney. Yeah. No, it was a legitimate movie. You went to but the it, it wasn't at the movie theater. You went to the movie theater to see it? I, didn't I, know. I it was wasn't a about that. It was a streaming movie. It wasn't a well, I I think it was like that Look, I was a big High School Musical fan, even though it was on Disney Channel as a movie. It still counts. See, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't count as a movie. But, it's not a movie. but the theater third movie. one was in the movie theater. So what now? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's true. High School Musical um, forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> forever. Super bad is not in the top ten. Um, let's see what else. Heather's is not in the top American ten. American Pie. American Pie. I don't even see it in the top twenty, I think, Eric. You know why? Because these are all movies that they don't age well. Like. They're not PC anymore. Oh, PC, yeah, yeah. maybe that's why. Like Sixteen Candles and Breakfast Club. Well, people... Breakfast Club is in the top ten. It's number ten. Barely okay, then. but Sixteen Candles isn't. Is not. Grease is number four. Cooley High is number three. I don't know that one from the seventies. Don't know that. Uh, number two, American Graffiti from the seventies, and the number one teen movie of all time according to Entertainment Weekly. Porky's. Nope. From 1955, Rebel Without a Cause. Like, Still never hell? seen it, but just know James oh, Dean started God, it. God, I had to watch that in a film class. It's no, acted no. so badly. They're tearing me apart. That's his big line. Is that from NSYNC? <laughs> no, no, no. Tearing that, up James my heart Dean. when I'm with, with you. you. If, how many memes did y'all see over the weekend of women who are saying, women in their 40s right now trying to save up all their money so they can mortgage the house for the NSYNC reunion tour about to get announced? And TikTok, the thing's going around where the guy goes, what's that one word you screwed up and everyone like keeps blaming you? And then Justin cuts in and goes, the one word? Me. 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 <laughs> For gonna be me. May. May. Ladies and gonna gentlemen, it's the Ryan Ryan Show on KRBE with What's Going Down, down. 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 in H-Town. All right, it's brought to you by Duncan. Oh, you know about all the new state laws that went into effect in September, but here's one for the school kids. New state law on vaping in school has tightened dis to uh, discipline students. So the law now requires the districts to remove the students from class and put them in a disciplinary alternate uh, alternative school. The smoking room. 
No, if you get busted wow. with a vape. Yeah, it applies on anything on school campus within 300 feet of school property or at any school-sponsored activity. Uh, For all I- ISDs across Texas? Yeah, or even off school property. Like, say it's a, a school event off campus. If they're caught vaping, boom, you're going to alternative school. It also well, applies if they sell or deliver vaping uh, products anywhere near the school grounds. There's so many vape stores everywhere. Everywhere. When I was in high school in the mid-90s, we had a smoking section. We did, too. That is crazy, y'all. Yeah. Yep. That That's is why out of control. I didn't crazy. have that in my high school. In the 90s? You had to get a permit. Section. You had to get a smoking permit. I understand the 80s, permit. Ryan, but I'm talking the 90s. Mm-hmm. Oof. Freaking nuts. I, I'm why would they do that? You still had that in the 90s? Yes. That's why I went to the high school in the 90s, and it was... A, it was right in the middle of the school. You went across the street, and there's a, they had mm-hmm. a nice tree, parking bench. There's like 50 kids in there with Metallica shirts. Yeah. Well, they're all the headbangers smoked. Yeah. <laughs> be, gotta be cool, man. <laughs> Did you watch that there. headbangers ball last night, y'all? Yeah, man. It was amazing. <laughs> Ricky Rackman. <laughs> Ricky Rackman rules. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Yeah. He okay. used to host headbangers ball on MTV. I'm glad you oh, did it, really? Yeah. Made yeah. me feel I better. Don't <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's mm-hmm. a blonde guy with long hair like a lion. Adam yeah. something. Oh, yeah, Adam, um... Adam Curry. Curry, yeah. He wasn't Correct. the headbanger guy, though. He's a poser. He was the VJ. For he was a VJ. Now he's a Back really rich guy. rich guy. He's a producer. Okay. Well, thanks for the information. <laughs> My life is better because of it. Coming up next, uh, we are going to give you the Roses update. What happened with Rachel and Matthew and Trisha? We'll give you the recap from last Thursday and the update from this morning next on The Rule and Rain Show.